noticed that when I was, was starting to work on the, on the building here that I, I needed to have a little bit of a, of a little peninsula that sticks out in front here. So I'm going to add some, some uh, put some, some, uh, a piece of paper over that just to, uh, t to straighten that out. I don't want to do that all with water with watercolor because the watercolor is transparent. So I'll just do it with the, uh, I'll, I'll just put a little chunk on here. Anytime I want to make a correction, it's nice with a, with a, see I can just put that little piece on there which is neat. And then the building goes back behind that again. So anytime I want to make a change, I can do that very easily just by, by uh, adding another piece of paper to the, to the thing. When you get, before you start to paint on this, it's good idea to blot off everything, all the excess. If you have, have too much matte medium on there, the watercolor isn't going to stick on there after a while. So you'll kind of want to blot things, blot things off a little bit so that it, it dries. And when this whole surface is, is more or less dry, then you can start to, to paint on that. Now I'm going to first put some light things in here. So I'm going to use a little bit of, of, uh, of designer's gouache. And I'll put that in my palette here in the corner and when I need to mix things with the with the white then I'll just mix the watercolor mixes easily with the white so I'm going to put the I'm going to lighten the roofs up there first of all so that they stand out against that green in the back there a little bit and I'll mix a little color with the with the gouache but then I'm going to just see I'm going to lighten those those roofs up back there and I want that to I want them to to stand out against that green so the, and I'll darken the green a little bit after a while too, but this gray, uh, the, the white that I'm putting on here will get a little bit darker as it dries, but it'll, then I can always give it another whack if I have to, but if I want, I want this to be lighter than this down, down below, so I'm going to just, I'm going to lighten this and then darken the other part of it a little bit. Now if I look on this, on the, uh, on my guide that I'm using here, I can see all this, the wood and all that stuff on there. That I'm not going to worry about right now. The bottom part of this, uh, of the uh, of the buildings, are stonework, stonework on here. So I can see the stone down here. So I can start to put a little bit of that stone color on the uh, on the bottom part there. So I'm going to mix a little bit of of blue and gray here together. So I can start to, I can put the that. See this? This is all stone. Isn't that wonderful? I make about a million stones right here. Just see, so I just put that down, and then I'm going to blot that a little bit, just with a Kleenex, so it gets a little bit of texture. And I can go back in and play with that after a while. That's that's no problem at all. And then I go over to the to the wheel to the wheel itself there, and then the wheel gets dark inside here too. See, so I can begin to and leave a little bit of light. So I'm do do that with the pen. I don't have to do that with the with uh, the, the, the scissors and cutting those. I can just paint that on there. See? Underneath the eaves, underneath the roof up there, I'll put a little bit of a shadow. So I'm gonna use a little, little bit of blue, blue. Now see, the, the edge of the building, a lot of times on these things, I'll do something like this. I'll make a little shape coming down into the bottom part of the painting. And it just to kinda, it's something that I do once in a while. And, I, and it, it'll fit here too, so I can, I can do it that way too, and, and and I can take some things like the edge here, and it'll and I'll do this, do something. I'll change the color of the water and stuff here, so it becomes a more of a design than it does just a realistic thing. Because I don't want it to try to make it look realistic. If I wanted to make it look realistic, then I'd do a regular painting, you know, like do a watercolor of it. If if I was going to make it do that this way, I just can I'm going to emphasize the design a little bit. I can go up into the trees back here too, see, and make a little bit of a line. And I'll show you how that'll work here. Now see this dark shape that comes over to there? I'm going to just darken that. In this little, like the, the spot here, I'm going to make this blue a little bit darker than this one because I want that shape to come down. It helps make the feel of the building a little bit stronger and uh, and, it, and it'll change the color of that, uh, of, of, the, of the water there a little bit too. I can put this on and blot it off if it's too much, but right now I'm going to use that, see, just and use that nice vertical shape coming down there. Now, the, that tree over here on this side, and I'm going to start to use that tree a little bit too, because I'm going to darken that, 
that, uh, see like it goes below the branch here, it comes out here and goes into the, into the, uh, the rhododendron down here. And, but this edge of that tree and the edge of the building come all the way down here also. See, that makes another nice vertical that, that I can use there. And I'm not going to make the tree go all the way down here. It's just going to be a change in the value a little bit down there. I'm going to go work in the, in the, in the trees in the back here for a little while. And you see what's what happens. I'm going to get different kinds of greens, even different than the ones that are on, already on the collage part. And I can, can start to play in here and, and darken some places or brighten it a little bit. And get rid of that little space there. And then there's a, a hole in here and I can make that very dark in there and get that to be almost black inside of that space there. I can just feel that the bridge, the little thing going back on the side. And it's just too bright, that little bridge out there. So I'm going to put a little bit of brown on it. Notice I put a little gouache with it. Now I can spatter a little bit in that. See, I take a little of that color and bring it up into the trees. Kind of unites all that stuff up there. You know, this top part is getting to feel pretty good. This I'm going to work on yet, so and, and a little bit later. But right now, that just feels, the, the trees and everything feel real good there. And the, the blue down below here, the water, is, is, uh, is feeling good. Uh, this, I like the light piece that comes across here. I'm going to change this over here, make it a little bit darker so that light goes all the way out to the outside edge. So I'm not going to make that blue as dark as it was in here, but uh, so I'll make it a little bit lighter than that. And then I'll, I'll uh, be able to feel that this light place going all the way across, that light, that little light uh, space in the, in the water going all the way across. Now in the, in the rhododendron down here, we're going to play with that a little bit and we'll get some of that purple stuff that, that uh, rhododendrons are made of. And I just want these to be flower-like, see? I don't want them to be f real looking flowers because then it's not a flower painting. So this is just supplementing those flowers. Now when he gets down here into the bottom part, painting's about this. But see what I can do down here is make this a little bit darker down here. Just put some darker stuff over that and, and, uh, and just let it work its way up toward the focus up here. See, that's what we want it to go. So if there are little holes in here someplace, I can put, I can always put a little purple in the green holes and a little green in the purple holes. That's, that's just fine. And this is a little too straight a line coming down here. Watch what I'm going to do. So you see this line that I have coming down this way? When that comes over to here, I'm just going to make that purple go right over to that line. Then it becomes a design shape down here, see? Not a realistic shape. It's a design shape. See, that comes down there, then I can, it's kind of a neat thing. See, that corner is getting to look a little, almost finished there, that's good. Now I want to put some more of those, those uh, some more of that purple, those purple shapes in the, so, and down in here now, this is all different kinds of green things, so watch what I'm going to do down there. I'm just going to put some green uh, shapes down there, and I'll mix other colors with them. I'll mix, this is a little gold color with it. This is just going to get all kinds of nice bright color because this is where the focus is up here and I don't want this to be too defined down here. So this is just neat the way that is. These, so these and the shape over here now, I'll just make some flowers out of those. And, and these are going to, um, see I'm just going to invent flower shapes here now. And I can put a little bit of white with that. So we just make that exciting down here in the foreground. You got to look through this, all this stuff to get to the mill. See, so the little of that orange gets up there. That's nice. And maybe even in the tree up here, I can put a little up there and then wipe it off. You know, put it down there like that. And then just take a Kleenex and blot it off a little. And then this green, I want to put a little green in that too. And then we'll just take a little break here and we'll see put a mat on it and see how it looks, and then, but I'll have to work on the buildings a little bit because and, and, they're the star of the show here. So we'll do that in just a, 
just a little bit to finish that up. Uh, but you begin to see that, how that, all that, see how this glows nicely back in here now. And, uh, and I'll come back in a minute and put a mat on that. And then we'll do a little detail stuff in there and then we'll see how it looks. <laughs> 